Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name's Colin, and I'm a poet. Uh, and I'm not normally like the kind of poet who writes about current affairs, um, but I saw this on the news today, and I just couldn't be silent any longer. Um, yes, a Herefordshire man has lost his job as a binman um, after kicking the head off of a three-year-old boy's snowman. Um, disgusting. Um, I, 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 I was livid when I read this, um, and so uh, I took the uncharacteristic step of writing an open letter to Hereford Council. Um, now, it does take the form of a poem in Scots, but if you understand English, it shouldn't be too difficult. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm going to read it to you now. It goes like this. Dear Sir, It unfolds like a movie, this trauma. A wee clutch of families, audience, drama, playing a while on the snow happet verges when just round the corner a lorry emerges. The hainawa crashes, the lewd beeping bonnet, binman's high vis gear, the colour of vomit, the rainbow drop jackets and the white to the lone, a wide angle shot, village green, fray a drone. A snowball and snows rolled as you'd expect. Bernies in thrall to the snowball effect. Roll snow run till a snowman kithes whole. Someone is sent him for carrots and coal. She retours to the bernies and darken in licht with twa run black churlies to grant your man sicht. And a wee carrot nose. He takes on his true form with a scarf round the neck, but they keep himself warm. Not too warm, but the blast should ensure that his new loved snowman shall surely endure. The tunes folk all gather. It's been a hard year, hard times in general for Herefordshire. In times like these, though, this magical weather as poor at least I to bring folk together. But what's this in the distance? A wee bright green dode, limbering up at the side of the road, disturbing the sooch of the winter's repose, bending our double and titching his toes, star jumping, radioactive as Geiger, and who come his soundtracks, the eye of the tiger? Trash crashes into the bin lorry's megans and kangles through space to distribble the heavens. The sun hides its face, the gloaming gangs out, the binman is ready, he laces his boot and starts to look our frae his side of the park. The street lights flick on new to welcome the dark, their beanies redound off the high busy green, dressing the snow in a lair o' spleen. Another wide angle. By the camera's edge, a hurdler our leaps the knee-high park hedge, and rins shot centre, jumps in the air, out streaks a leg, there's wind in his hair, he moves through the sky like a knife through hot butter, it's crouching tiger, hidden nutter, his foot connects, the scarf unsteaks, the heat explodes, the bernies screech, the coal ignites, the carrots diced, nice day, the binman is surprised to hear the news that he's been dreading, he will be fired for this beheading. Oh, to tain your occupation, cause he won decapitation. How many times will he regret his wintry Marie Antoinette? Now he sits in his hoose, fuming, byronic, tweets about snowflakes, doesn't he ken it's ironic? Hereford Council, employ this man. Ken he'll be handy when pretty Patel's plan to bring back the guillotine comes to fruition. And with flying colours he's passed his first mission. For a judge and a jury and no execution is like an equation without a solution. It's like a big party without a host, the Holy Trinity, song ghost. And for traumatised bernies, there's no better warning than an end climate change, an end global warming, upsetting the kids' eye to some it seems mean, but at least now they've heard of the Anthropocene. Your man is a citizen, he does not shirk, your man is doing the good Lord's work, and according to me, he's doing it damn well. Yours sincerely, Colin George Bramwell. Thanks.